In the first part of CNode chapters, I explained CNode editor, categories and workflow. In the second part, I explain how to use Redshift materials, distribution, fields and randomization. And in this chapter, we will have look on CNode assets. I created for you couple of scenes, or we can call it assets as well, which you can download from our Gumroad library. All links for previous chapters, or link where you can download all mentioned scenes, you can find in video description. Scenes which I created are perfect summary of previous two chapters, so if you don't understand how it works, please check out previous two chapters. Main purpose of this chapter is to show you what everything you will be able to create with C nodes in a very short period of time and how powerful is this workflow. As you can see in Redshift Render View, all assets which I created contains also Redshift material. So in case that you are not using Redshift, skip material operator node and in 3D viewport you will see how looks result without Redshift material. If you would like to change asset color, select gradient node and now you can use different gradient preset or you can customize the ramp nodes values and position exactly as you need. Another good example of nodes multipurpose is effector operator. In previous chapter I used effector operator as mesh deformer. But in this example, I'm using effector operator to affect distribution's result instead. I'm using twist type, but you can switch to any other effector type. Important is to keep transform mode distribution, because as I mentioned already, this twist effector controls how it looks result coming from distribution operator node. And if I will change effector's parameters, such as angle, as you can see in 3D viewport, it produced different looking result. From previous chapter, we also know how to control effector with fields. So again, you can use different field type, but remember that field radius strongly affecting result. And sometimes you have to use large values if you would like to see correct result. All depends on scene scale, and sometimes distributions can produce pretty large result. If you would like to see how looks result with how field, disconnect field operator from effector. And now we will control effector parameters without field's contribution. As you can see, effector contains metric section where you can manipulate with position, scale and rotation separately for each axis. Very often it can produce interesting looking result. But remember, that if you are changing metric scale, amount of distributions or effector size, it can produce large scene. So always check out grid spacing values. That's the reason why I'm using as last node before material operator, metrics operator. As you can see here, I'm controlling final asset size. If you will play with this asset, you can also change distribution type or distribution count. It will allow you to create different looking result. So as you can see just from one asset, we are already able to create totally different result. That's why C nodes are so powerful. As you can see every single parameter strongly affecting result. And that's the reason why in our C nodes course, we will explain step by step all these parameters, nodes and assets. So we will be able to create your own assets exactly as you need. In geometry part of this asset, you have control over geometry look before distribution. If I will connect this part directly into the scene output, I will see how looks current geometry only so I can easier control result and also change to different geometry type or edit parameters of geometry nodes exactly as I need. 
Second example is even more complex and here I am using two different types of distribution. So you have also even more control over color gradient. And you can control hue or saturation of this gradient as well. Again, as I showed already in previous example, you have opportunity to create totally different results. You just have to change parameters, amount of distribution or geometry type. Practicing on these assets will help you better understand what everything is possible to create with C node. Third example show how rich of materials and his nodes are able to create from simple distributions interesting looking results. We created entire Rechif course and also many free Rechif tutorials so you can check them out. All assets which I am sharing with you contains also Rechif materials and lighting but with how used HDRI maps. Where you can find and download free HDRI maps you will find in video description as well. Fourth example shows how camera angle will help you to find cool looking shapes and how tools such as optics denoiser can produce paint looking effect. Again, important part of this example is Rechief material and his curvature node. If you will change camera angle and see nodes parameters, you will be able to create different looking shapes. In the last example, you can see how easily you can create colorful abstract geometry literally in minutes. And that's the reason why C nodes have a huge potential. Don't forget that current version of C nodes is just technical demo. So when Maxon will release update, there will be even more nodes and improvements ready for even more interesting results.